A quick addressing tool is very useful to link discovered fixtures on the network with actual fixtures on your workspace. It prevents you from typing in any manual addresses and is a huge time saver if you know how to use it correctly. Before starting up the quick addressing tool, I always use the highlight light all function, which will send a red, green, blue test pattern to all fixtures on the network. This confirms that all the fixtures are seeing the P3 controller. It confirms your network is working correctly. It's actually a really useful feature to have up and running even when you're still plugging in cables because it gives you a nice visual indication if fixtures are plugged into the network. Before starting the quick addressing tool, a very useful thing to do first is make sure that all fixtures are this uh, offline and not linked. So you see some of the fixtures have already joined the fixture on the workspace because their address matches with something on the workspace from a previous use case. So in most cases, I would recommend first bump all fixtures offline and confirm it. This will make sure that nothing is associated with a fixture on the workspace and gives you a nice and clean start. Before using the quick addressing tool, I would also recommend to turn on a full green test pattern as that will give you a very clear indication on which fixtures are already addressed and which fixtures are still pending. You can do the quick addressing tool on your entire rig in one go, which can be a long task, or you can break it up into smaller tasks. In this example, I will first start with the fixtures on this specific power port. So you can open up a power port, select the fixtures behind it, and now I hit quick addressing, and I say only the selected devices, as that limits the quick addressing to only that part of my rig. Now, quick addressing enables, you will see that all fixtures go to a blue dot pattern to easily see where their pixel number one is, and the fixtures start highlighting in full white one by one. The only thing you need to do is click the corresponding fixture on the P3 workspace. So I see one dot in the bottom left corner highlighting in white, I just click it here, and as soon as I click it, it gets addressed with that address, and it goes to the green test pattern that we just previously indicated. Now it's this Fatron, this Dotron, this Captron, Dotron, Fatron. So you just click every fixture as it's highlighted, so it will automatically highlight the next fixture. It usually follows the daisy chain order of the cable, so in many cases you can just pre, uh, predict which one will be the next, but you just look at the stage or your building, see which fixture is full white, click the corresponding one on the workspace, and then automatically behind the scenes all the addressing is done, no need to type in any addresses whatsoever. So that would be this Dotron. Just keep looking what's white and click the corresponding one. So now you're done. Now all those uh, fixtures on the power port that I selected previously have all been associated with a fixture on the workspace, which is confirmed by the green test pattern now coming through to them. Of course, I didn't select these two Mac Ara fixtures before, so I can use the quick addressing tool again. Now I want to say, I want to do everything, not only the ones I selected. And now he asks a very important question. Hey, some fixtures are already addressed. Do you want to kick them offline and start from scratch? Or do you want to incrementally address the, the new ones? I do not want to unaddress the ones that I already did. So I say no, which means all the fixtures that were already addressed stay addressed. He only looks at the new ones that were not yet addressed. So we have the Mac Ara Peak Cell. I click it and it gets addressed. And we have the Mega XIP. I click it, it gets addressed. And as soon as it's addressed, the green test pattern lights through. Now all my fixtures are done. It's also confirmed here in the bottom left, I'm uh, sorry, bottom right saying, hey, all fixtures are online. And now if I disable the test pattern, you will see the video mapping come through on these fixtures, which you can also confirm here. So now my quick addressing was done completely.